Alright, what's up guys? I'm GuyFlyFlyF and today we have another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. This is gonna be another UU one. If you couldn't tell. I guess the other option would have been PU. Cause I don't I don't do OU. No, OU's gross. Don't even know. <laughs> um oh god, he has an Umbreon. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, let's go over my team really quickly. We are going to be carrying a Typhlosion, our Scarfed Typhlosion, rather, and Assault Dust Mesprit. We are going to be carrying our Acrobatics Fledgling. We are carrying our Choice Banded uh, to the Sneasel. We are carrying our Eviolite Physically Defensive Tangela. And last but not least, we are carrying something we've not used in uh, God knows how long. We are bringing Utter's Female Tank. <laughs> That has definitely been quite a while since we've used it. Alright, he's got... Let me go ahead and write down his team. He has a... I kind of like his team, except for Umbreon. He's got Crobat. Uh, he's got Arcanine. Heliolisk is something I definitely like. I have a modest-natured one, which is why I don't use it very often. Definitely need to breed a timid one, and then I'll use it a little bit more, maybe. Heliolisk. Uh, okay, what else? He's got a Starmie. A Don fan, and he has Dumbreon. Yes, I wrote it that way. I hate it that much. Oh God. Um, he's probably gonna start out with his Crobat, so I'm going to lead out with. Oh jeez, I'm gonna lead out with. No, I'm gonna lead out with my uh, Typhlosion because Typhlosion's good for anything he wants to lead out with. Oh God, I took way too long. <laughs> that was almost bad. Oh, I didn't. I didn't write the end on Dumbreon's name. There we go. Fix it. Alright, so, uh, let's see what he leads out with. The only things I can see are Heliolisk and Crobat as potential leads, or Arcanine. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Um, I'm not going to stay in here, because this is definitely not a favorable matchup for me. Arcanine is kind of bad for my team, definitely hoping he's the physically offensive variant, because... Oh god, he's not a, he's he's not gonna be a fun time to deal with is he, if he's defensive. Um I kinda need to sack something to be honest here. Uh you know what? Do I need my Typhlosion for his team? It'd be nice, but only really for Heliolisk. So you know what? I'm gonna stay in and I'm gonna go for the focus blast here. Because it'll still do a decent amount, and even if he extreme speeds, it's not like we were going to eruption in the first place, so I'm not worried. Focus Blast. Yes! We don't get the Focus Miss. Haha! -ha! That is going to do not even half. Oh, God. He's definitely defensive. That's good. That's definitely something that I do not need to worry about now, which is fun. Um, okay. I still don't really have a switch for this thing. No, he might just be max HP, because I really doubt he's specially defensive. If he's specially defensive, then I mean props to him, but whatever. He's gonna go into Starmie, I bet you a million dollars. Or Crobat, okay. Um, I mean, sure. <laughs> hey, look at the bright side. If he's Sash, then we just broke it. I've never really seen... I've seen a Sash Crobat like one time. No, he's he's definitely Black Sludge, which is good, because that means we don't have to worry about him being Sashed and stuff. Um, okay, I know how I want to deal with this thing. The only question is if I'm going to actually be able to deal with it that way. You see, I still don't really have a free switch on this thing because my freaking Pokemon that's physically defensive is weak to both of this thing's stabs. Uh, I'm going to go for another Focus Blast. Might as well, <laughs> I don't know, try and get that special defense lower or something. Who knows? Um, he's going to go for the U-turn right away. What is he going to go into? I just want him to kill my stupid Typhlosion. Oh my god. <laughs> This is just overcomplicated in every way. It keeps on overpredicting me and such. No, I just want this thing to die so I get a free switch. God. Um, <laughs> yes, he's finally going to go out and star me. That's good. We outspeed a star me, so we're going to be able to focus blast this one, too. <laughs> God. Typhlosion's been alive for four turns. I didn't even mean it for him to be alive for two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. We get some nice damage on the star me. He's gonna go for the skull, and that will definitely kill us. Hopefully. Okay, good, it does kill us. I wonder if he's like Spec Starmie. I've never seen that before, probably because Life Orb Starmie's a bit more popular, but even so. No, he's not Spec Starmie, unfortunately. I kinda wanted to see that. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, Starmies are base 115. 
I would so check on my phone right now if it weren't for the fact that my phone is dead and I'm way too lazy to charge it. Uh, um, you know, let's just go out into our Mesprit. Because Mesprit has Thunderbolt as well as we're going to eat up the hits for all day. So, yeah. Let's just go straight for the Thunderbolt. If he wants to switch out in a Dawn Fan, then Dawn Fan's not really going to hurt us, and we can just go for Ice Beams. So I'm not worried. He's going to go out in a Dumbreon. Gross. Gross. Doesn't matter, because we still get a free switch out of this thing, but it's annoying. Paralyzed? 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 No, wait, no, I don't want to paralyze. Never mind, because then I can't get a Toxic off on this thing, as well as it'll just be a horrible, horrible time, even if he has Heal Bell and stuff. Oh, God. The reason why... The reason why I don't like Showdown sometimes is because people use Umbreon and make the battle super long. This is probably going to be like a 40 minute battle because this stupid Umbreon. I didn't bring anything to counter it. So let's just go for the U-turn here. Obviously he's specially defensive based on that damage so U-turn will be doing a nice amount of damage. Um, I kind of want to go out and mill tank now. Uh, no. Do I carry Heal Bell on this thing? I don't remember. No, I do not. Because he's going to toxic me if I do that. Uh, I could go out into Fletchling, potentially. Do I need Fletchling for anything? No. Um, yeah, let's go out into Fletchling, I guess. Because Fletchling can always just go for, um, either a, he's just gonna go for a foul play. Oh, God. Um, I don't know why you do that. We're not attack invested on Mesprit. That would be cool. Physically, or offensive Mesprit, rather. That could be cool. Um, let's see here. U-turn would do... Not as much as acrobatics. So let's just go for the acrobatics. We want to lower this thing's HP as much as possible. He can obviously go for Wish, but I don't want him to. See, the question is here, is he going to go for Protect or not? Because if he goes for Protect, then I can go for the Sword Stance. Yeah, let's just go for Sword Stance. Yes! Haha! -ha, predictions are real! The only thing is, we're so gonna die from the next foul play as if it wasn't already obvious, but still. Uh, <laughs> yes! Okay, so... Um, I, I kinda wanna double check. Oh, as far as I know, Acrobatics does more because it's 110 after having no item. And then Stab. Yeah, it does way more than U-Turn. Never mind. Let's just go for the Acrobatics here. This will be able to do over half now, which is definitely, definitely fortunate. So, yes, he's going to go for the foul play, and we outspeed his Umbreon, Dumbreon, rather. So, that means we can just go into Mesprit and then U-turn, potentially. Um, because, I don't know, I don't know if he live at that amount of HP, though. That is my only gripe with this. I know we'll kill with an Ice Punch from... From, from our Sneasel, but I really feel like he's gonna switch out here. I could go for an X Scissor just to guarantee it, but I feel like he's gonna go out and use Arcanine, so I want to go for the knockoff. Oh no, this is a bad idea. Whatever, I'm going for a knockoff. He he has to switch out. He's gonna save it. Yes. Okay. Good. That means he's going into either Arcanine or Starmie, and neither one of those are gonna want to take a knockoff because either way we knock off their item sort of what knockoff means so yeah even with the attack lower that just brings us down to the amount of um oh he's carrying a muscle band not leftovers um I interesting i guess oh no i don't want damage on this thing at all okay you know what even if he has morning sun i'm gonna go out into my mill tank because mill tank has reliable recovery as well as if he wants to burn us, then we still have reliable recovery, as well as no way of being toxic. So, we can just start setting up curses and stuff. Um, and we have Earthquake on this thing if he wants to do that. He's going to go for the extreme speed. That's why I switched out, because like I said, I don't want damage on it. He gets the crit! Garbage! Uh, well, now that we know a crit does that much, um, I'm definitely not scared of this thing. Let's just go for the curse here. He's going to go for close combat. Hmm. Yes! Miltank! Pulling through, even though you're so not going to be alive next turn. Uh, um, that was definitely unfortunate. Um, I don't know what this dude's doing. By that, I mean, like, 
He's got a muscle band and attacks, but based on how much damage he's doing, I can't imagine that he's attack invested. I don't know, though. Um, do I really want to keep Miltank alive? The answer is yes. If he goes in a Dawn Fan, then I can set up a, or then I can go for a Milk Drink. I didn't think he'd carry it. He's, whatever. Um, you know what? Uh, the question is, is he going to be smart enough to go for a Flare Blitz? Whatever, let's go out into Mesprit, because I know Mesprit outspeeds unless he wants to go for an Extreme Speed. And even if he does that, that's not going to do too much damage. Yeah, okay, he's going to go for a Close Combat, that's fine. Uh, that's going to do nothing, which is funny because we're a defense lowering nature. I mean, we are max HP, but even so, that's, that's still funny. Um... I know he's gonna go out into Umbreon now, and if he doesn't, then U turn's still gonna kill, so U turn. <laughs> not gonna not gonna fall into the trap of going for psychic. Uh he might predict that, but even so, I don't know what else, what he would go out into to avoid it. His best chance would be Crobat, and if he goes into Crobat, that would be such a risky play in case I went for the psychic. So <laughs> definitely uh an interesting situation for him. Uh, stupid Umbreon making this battle long, even if it's not at all Umbreon, Umbreon's fault. Well, we will see what he goes for. He's going to withdraw, and what is he going to go into? He's going to go into his Heliolisk. Interesting. <laughs> We're going to get off the U-turn, and that's definitely going to do some damage. Uh, nah, nah, not as much as I would have liked, but still does good damage. Um, let's go out into... The question is... No, never mind. Let's just go out and tangle up. I was going to say, the question is, is he scarfed? But I'm not going to risk my Sneasel over if he's scarfed or not. Because that would be ridiculous. Um, I kind of want to go for a knockoff here. What could he carry to hit me? Focus Blast? Yeah. Um, He's probably just going to go for a Bolt Switch here. So let's go for a knockoff. He's going to go for a Volt Switch, as I predicted. If he goes into Umbreon, that's going to be a huge issue. Wait, no, it won't. No, it won't. Never mind. Because then he'll go for the Wish, and I can just go for a Giga Drain on the turn that he wishes. So we'll be fine no matter what he switches into Crobat. Um, that's fine, because we get to knock off his item. Okay, so that's gone. Good. Now, let's go for... I don't know, because we don't have a reliable way to switch out here. Um, I think I have to sack off my mill tank, unfortunately. That's definitely not going to be good in the long run, but whatever. So he'll be able to kill my mill tank, and then I can go out into my Sneasel and Ice Shard this thing. He's going to go for the Brave Bird. Unfortunately, he's not Life Orb. I have been seeing Life Orb Crobats everywhere for no apparent reason. I think Banded Crobat is a much better option, but ugh, that's just my opinion, whatever. Um, he's going to take the recoil damage, which is good. I know we're going to Oko it with a with an Ice Shard, and he has no way to take this, honestly, just because his Arcanine's too low on HP, his Heliolisk wouldn't enjoy it, Starmie, he has Starmie. Um, the question is, no, no, because I don't think he's going to know we carry Ice Shard. Good, he doesn't. And we're banded Sneasel, and Sneasel has a lot of attack. Okay, good, we do take it out. For a second, I thought we weren't going to, and I was going to be like, oh god, that's an issue. Um, so we finally take out one of his Pokemon. We've lowered a lot of HP of his Pokemon, though, so we're not at a huge disadvantage here. Crobat. Uh, and Arcanine's essentially dead, as well as Umbreon, so we're in a decent position here. It's kind of like 3 to 4, or no, 3 to 3, rather. Ooh, okay. So, his best choice, I think, would be get, to go into Arcanine, get an extreme speed off. He's gonna go into Dawn Fan. Okay. Let, let's go out into... Kind of really am tempted to go out into Tangela, honestly. Um... I mean... Yeah, let's go out into Tangela. <laughs> because we can Giga Drain this thing get our health up as well. I mean, we do have Regenerator, so we're already pretty much at full health, but still. Um, he's gonna go for the knockoff. That sucks. That really, really sucks. I didn't think about that. Um, <laughs> now, granted, this is the only thing that, <laughs> that benefits from us being knocked off, and we're still not gonna take any damage from, uh, 
from Stone Edges, but still, <laughs> it still sucks. Okay, so we're gonna go for the Giga Drain, get our health all the way back up. Even if he wants to go for a Stone Edge here, I'm fine with that. He's gonna go for Stealth Rocks. Okay. <laughs> Alright then. Let's go for a... I don't see why we have... An, oh wait, we have Sneasel that's weak to Ice. Or, that, that is Ice and weak to uh, Rock, but still. Let's go for another Giga Drain here. And that will kill his Dawn Fan. Good. Uh, that was really silly, in my, in my opinion. He could have saved that thing. For my uh, Sneasel, because it has Sturdy, and Sneasel can't break. It, it probably couldn't have O-Code anyways. So Dawn Fan's dead as well now. He's going to go out in Arcanine. He's either going to die from Recoil, <laughs> or he's going to die from me knocking him off. So, that's... Oh, crap. Morning, son. I forgot that this thing gets recovery. I guess he's running some sort of mixed variant. Uh... Well, that knockoff is going to do a strong 5 damage. <laughs> so, let's go for the Leech Seed. And he's going to go for the Flare Blitz. Honestly, we might live that. I know we ha we don't have our Eviolite, but we might. Yes, we do. Good. So, that's going to bring him down really, really far. We're going to go for the Leech... The Leech Miss. Um, let's go for... Huh... Stupid Arcanine, why do you have to carry recovery? Let's go for the... Oh, I don't know. Is he just going to go for another attacking move? I hope so. Let's go for the Toxic, I guess. I don't know. Kind of just hit that button on accident, but that works fine. Um, he's going to go for the Flare Blitz. That's going to lower his HP even further, which is good. Because I'm not really scared of it anymore. Um... Okay, so I'm going to go out into my Sneasel. And I'm going to go for the knockoff. Because knockoff will kill pretty much everything on his team. As well as if he wants to hit us with an extreme speed, I'm fairly sure we'll live. Oh, this is dangerous. Okay, he's going to go for the extreme speed and it's going to do... Okay, good, we live. Phew! We unfortunately cannot switch in again, but so long as we win the speed ties, there's... Oh, wait. If he's got a Scarf Heliolisk, then we lose the game, essentially. Uh, maybe maybe not. There's still a chance that we could come back from this if he if he's running Scarf Heliolisk. Based on how long he's taking, though, I'm pretty sure he's just going to bluff the Scarf. I certainly hope that's what he's doing. Yes, he bluffed the Scarf. What is he carrying? He might be Specs. I'm curious, because it'll still tell us what we knocked off. Um, he is Specs. Okay, good. That means Heliolisk is down. Sneasel pulling through. This is going to go out in a... Oh, jeez, I didn't know Umbreon had this much HP. Oh, that's not good. Um, unfortunately, we are banded, so we have to go for the knockoff. He's going to go for Protect. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. Um, yeah, I think we win from here. <laughs> if not, it's going to be a really close game. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can still kill from where this Umbreon's at, because he's not defensive, and the knockoff is going to do a lot of damage, but I'm not sure. Oh god, that's not going to do enough, but we still need to knock off his leftovers. So even if he goes for the wish here, which he does. Oh god, um, wait, hang on. I'm going to do something, I will be right back. Okay, so I did a damage calc, and I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure that we live the, um, I'm pretty sure that we actually live the Stealth Rock damage. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, no, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I, whatever, no, I'm not gonna risk it, because my damage count could have definitely been wrong. He's gonna go for the Protect, obviously. So, he doesn't have leftover recovery, but I'm, I think we can still win this, maybe. This is why I hate Umbreon, by the way, <laughs> because it does this crap, but let's go for the knockoff again, um, and that's going to do a little bit of damage. He's going to go for Wish again. Oh, no. Okay. Um, you know, I'm going to have to risk it because I can't win from here. If I go, if I go back out in the Sneasel and it does live the Stealth Rocks, then... Uh, that will be good, because, I mean, uh, 
Oh, jeez, he's gonna go for the foul play, and that's gonna kill us. Um, well, you see, if we can somehow manage to kill with the X-Scissor, then we win. <laughs> if not, then whatever. Okay, let's go back out into Sneasel. Do we live? Please live. No, okay, we don't. For some reason, I don't know, whatever. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Never mind. I did, I did the calculation wrong. That's what it was. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Hopefully we'll finally win a battle. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, n now bye.